Okay, so should I start from the beginning for you? My name is Cynthia Murray. I live in Maryland. I'm an 18-year Walmart associate. Walmart, Walmart, you can't hide. We can't see your greedy side. Walmart, Walmart, you can't hide. We can see your greedy side. Walmart, Walmart, you can't hide. What motivated me to fight for the change for workers is the fact that they were disrespected. Workers felt as though they didn't have a voice and that they weren't powerful enough to stand up. I decided to try to start organizing. My name is Sierra Harrington. I live in New Bern, North Carolina. I work at Walmart. I make $11.50 an hour. My daughter's name is Ebony. She is four years old and she's just an energetic, funny, ball of sunshine. <laughs> I have definitely had to make a lot of hard decisions just making 11.50 in Walmart. There have been times when I had to decide whether to pay the rent or pay the light bill or if I could afford to actually put food on the table for me and my child. Working for a huge company like Walmart, nobody should be struggling. Winning stuff like paid maternity leave and paid family leave keeps me motivated to keep pushing. By standing together and raising our voices, we actually just won paid maternity leave for our early associates, and that's big. I want to thank all of you and the many other Walmart employees all over this country who are standing up and fighting for justice. All we are saying to the Walton family and Walmart, pay your workers a living wage. If you want to see a change, you need to go out there and make that change. It started with Radio Shack, then Toys R Us, then Sears, then Kmart, Shopgo, Payless. All of these companies have been bought out by these billionaires, sold piece by piece, shut down, and its workers left in the dust. My name is Sarah. I've been with Babies R Us for seven years. When my store closes, when my store closes, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make rent. When Toys R Us went into bankruptcy, it was a kick in the gut. Someone reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to go to this protest in New Jersey? We go there and it was huge. The very next day we went to New York City and we were loud, it was big, and we told them we are not gonna stop. We won't stop fighting! We won't stop fighting! And we are not going away! Because of Wall Street, 30,000 people lost their job at Toys R Us. We were all left without work and without a severance pay. Meanwhile, Wall Street and CEO executives received millions of dollars off our backs. I'm scared I won't be able to afford rent or my son's medication, but today I feel empowered. All of us are from different retailers all across the country and we're all having the same struggles, but it's definitely really empowering to know that we have so much support and we have so many people who are willing to fight with us and for us. I believe in numbers making a change. I believe in numbers making a change. There is no better time than the present. There is no better time than the present. We must take action now. We must take action now. It was very emotional, just knowing that there's other people besides myself that are going through the same thing. There's people willing to stand up and fight for something that's right. We can stand together! We can stand together!
We have been doing this fight with Toys R Us for quite some time and it was really nice to actually bring that in to support Sears and Kmart workers and to give them like all the confidence they need to actually speak up and fight out. And like this is just the beginning and this is a very strong beginning. Together we're powerful and our voices can be heard and we are making changes. It has been exciting to be part of this. I've already had a second family with Toys R Us and now my family has expanded to Sears and Payless and Shopco. We're all fighting for our jobs and it has been one of the most hope-filled experiences of my life. You're my retail family because retail stands together. Seeing that vision come to life right before me is there isn't a word. We stand together. I think there isn't anything we can't accomplish. We have proposed a bill today to stop Wall Street looting. It is time for the American people to say enough of Wall Street ripping off and looting our businesses and leaving our employees behind. We won $20 million for Toys R Us employees, but we're not done. We're now introducing legislation to make sure that doesn't ever happen to families again. A few very wealthy people got together, broke the system, and rigged it against us. As part of United for Respect, we are fighting to change the system. Together, we are making history. Our voices are being heard in Washington. We're gonna fight until we see changes made in the laws. When we win this law, it's gonna be an amazing feeling. Sometimes I can just close my eyes and imagine, I can just envision it happening. It's just gonna be the best feeling, knowing that I was a part of helping everybody better their lives. To be a part of this movement, it feels exhilarating. I feel empowered, bold. I feel like I can conquer anything. To even get in the same room as all these fighters, it gives you a sense of strength, family, it gives you hope. Going from somebody who lost their retail job to having senators know my name has been extremely humbling. I'm not the kind of person who stands in the front. Finding my voice has been a huge awakening for me. I've learned how to stand up for myself and give a voice to those who can't. Now we're going to make them pay. Now we're going to make them pay. I hope when my child sees me in the movement, empowers her to also stand up for herself, to know her worth, and to demand respect. I believe through organizing, not only am I helping make change now for me and my current coworkers, but I'm empowering my children to find their voice. One person can make a huge difference because your voice is giving power to other voices.